beautiful butterflies. Welcome to Mariposa Wisdom. I'm Jennifer Love. I'm an angel intuitive and life coach. If you want to learn more about me, you can go to jenniferlove.me. Uh, I think there's an about tab, something like that. Um, I am a Scorpio sun, Scorpio rising. My Mercury's in Scorpio and uh, my Venus is in Libra. So that's my placements, a couple of my placements. Um, I kind of started using a disclaimer um, because I can be very blunt. Um, I just would like you to know that I don't tell you what you want to know. I tell you what you need to know. Um, I do channel messages from the divine and um, I use my intuition to read the tarot and oracle cards. Um, if you want unicorns and rainbows and fairy tales, I'm probably not your reader. I'm a little bit too real. So um, that's, you can keep watching if you want or click off if you want, that's your choice. This is a reading for Taurus, a bonus reading because the Taurus video for April had the most views. So congratulations Taurus. And um, this will be, you know, for the last couple weeks in April going into May, but of course I'll do another um, May love reading. So you'll have that as well. So this is just a uh, Current energy and love for Taurus. So let's see what's going on. Um, as you know, energy can change based on your free will choices. So I hope that my readings empower people to make good choices in their lives and not come from a place of fear because, you know, tarot should not make you scared or afraid. It should be um, information that helps you, you know move in a different direction if you need to or stay where you are whatever you you know and this is just one possible outcome um versus like many many many, many outcomes based upon people's free will choices so current energy and love for taurus is oh nice it's happy family please excuse my nails oh my god this like quarantine bullshit is like on my last nerve when it comes to like my whole beauty routine like waxing and getting my hair done and getting my I'm so over it like I cannot tell you <laughs> my stylist was kind enough to send me hair dye and I did it myself but oh my god like I know why I pay someone to do it because it's a pain in the ass anyway Taurus my nails look like shit so just deal with it <sighs> just deal with it and this is what I get for making comments to my friends about, oh my God, why doesn't that tarot reader get her fucking nails done? <laughs> this is the bad karma coming back to me tenfold, right? Uh, what's going on in love for you, Taurus? Let your friends help you. Reconciliation. You may... Um, a possible reconciliation with an ex or someone that you've been dealing with but the future out overall energy is um, happy family so uh, I kind of feel that it's it reminds me of like the ten of cups these are like energy oracle cards but it kind of reminds me of like the ten of cups um, type of energy in tarot so um, yeah right now I you know I'm kind of getting the story of your ideal is like a committed, stable, happy family relationship, but there is someone that you want to be reconciled with or you you recently reconciled with someone, but you may be headed for a separation. Um, the let your friends help you is really about seeking support from your friends. So if you do have like issues and you know drama and whatnot, try to not um, burden your partner with it. And this is for men as well as women. Um, we tend to, you know, kind of dump on the people closest to us with our, you know, daily issues, our irritations, our drama, everything, you know, because, you know, your partner is supposed to be, you know, your best friend and like what, what, who else would you trust all those things with? But we can get into the pattern of um, kind of dumping on our 
partner, which is, you know, just not a healthy place to be. So just be cognizant and aware of, you know, all of the emotion you're laying on your partner. And if that could be something that, you know, maybe a friend, a girlfriend or, you know, a male friend could handle or um, a cousin, a family, member, like so, whoever you're close with, just try to spread the drama around and not burden just your partner with it. Um, because I think especially in closed quarters, you know, we have the tendency to do that. Oh my God, now I got the 10 of cups. So I feel, you know, there is a, if there's not a family, there's definitely a commitment here. Um, yeah, that separation that I was talking about is probably um, a temporary one because I definitely feel like the stable commitment here. And if your person has not reconciled with you, the person that you're wanting to be with or thinking about, um, they definitely like feel like you're um, attractive and something they, someone they wanna be with. Um, and a message of love is coming um, if it hasn't you know, taken place already. So if you are looking to reconcile with someone, um, I would trust it like I would go that way um, if you know these are issues that you feel can be overcome because you broke up with them for a reason right and um, you just want to you know be aware that are these like things you can get over like um, they're a slob and you have to pick up after them or is this stuff like oh he cheated on me and uh, gave me herpes so like I don't know it's just um, just be careful. Just don't, you don't have to reconcile with everybody, right? Just the people that you really, really feel like you have a long-term potential with. Um, what else am I getting for Taurus? You both might be kind of defensive. Um, and so you're going to have to get past that in order to, you know, get to a place of like honest communication. There's some childhood um, memories or childhood trauma that is affecting this relationship, either on your part or your person's. Um, and so if you do get triggered and get defensive yourself, kind of take a step back and ask yourself, like, what is this really about? Um, why did I get triggered? Is this um, remind me of a relationship from my past? Is this remind me of my um, relationships in high school and how people treated me? Is this about, you know, the last boyfriend and how he behaved or last girlfriend and um, really examine yourself to kind of see if you're getting triggered and what that trigger is about. There's going to be some kind of watching and waiting. So if your person, if you are in separation or you're headed that way, um, you might want to just kind of sit back and wait and kind of see, you know, what happens um, because I kind of feel like this person might also be you know watching and waiting for you to see if you you know reach out or do something or come back because um, I think they definitely want to be with you it's just that there's some kind of um, separation that took place or is going to take place um, I kind of want to feel like into the long-term prospect of what's going on because just because there's a separation now doesn't mean that it's going to be like that forever. Okay, so now I got strictly sexual. Um, can you see that? It's kind of glary. Strictly sexual. This connection is passionate but not enduring. Um, so if the person you are thinking about, it was friends with benefits or it was just a physical relationship, that's probably not the person that's going to take you to the happy family, ten of cups kind of energy. Um, but if you are, you know, um, wanting to reconcile with someone who um, it was not just a sexual connection, there was definitely like some feelings and love happening, then that probably has more potential than the people that are just doing um, a physical relationship, if that makes any sense. Um, so hopefully, if you do want this person, it's not just uh, physical, because that doesn't last very long. It's just, I mean, how long can you just be physical with someone? It actually gets boring, to be honest. Um, you 
could, I feel like there's an imbalance in your um, second chakra, which is the sacral, um, color orange, creativity, sexuality. Um, so if you do feel the need to balance your second chakra, you can burn orange candles, you can um, use carnelian. Um, I feel like you're very confused about this connection. Um, be confident. You should always be confident in what you have to offer someone. I mean, if they don't see your value, step off. Someone else will see your value. That's how I always feel about every relationship, actually. Um, if this person can't possibly see, you know, your worth, then really don't deserve to have any of your time or energy. Um, yeah, another family card. So there's definitely, like, some kind of family dynamic here. You might have children with this person, or you want that, you know, marriage, happy family kind of situation. Road trip, okay, if this per you may have gone on a road trip with this person, or you guys were planning one before all this, like, coronavirus bullshit happened. Um, be careful of scams and any kind of um, deal or contracts you're making right now, because, um, especially in relation to this person and your love relationships, um, be careful of, like, people who claim to... Um, can match make you know matchmakers and dating coaches and stuff like that um, don't sign any deals right now um, it's just not a good time um, we are coming into Venus retrograde I think we're in the shadow period right now so um, just anything related to love is gonna get slowed down in a big way so you're just gonna have to be very patient so that watching and waiting makes sense to me yeah there's definitely communication coming from your person so uh, it could be call, could be text, could be, you know, social media message, but, um, yeah, I mean, just, just kind of sum up, other than the um, second chakra rebalancing, I kind of feel like maybe kind of taking a step back and waiting, if you are in separation, kind of waiting for, you know, your person to communicate with you or to try to reconcile with you. Um, if the, excuse me, if the connection was, you know, strictly physical, then I actually would not try to reconcile or, you know, keep going because it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, definitely be confident in what you have to offer because um, people respond to that. People can feel, you know, that you have value, you have self-worth, and you're willing to walk away from anyone who doesn't see that. Um, yeah, so that would be my advice for this bonus reading is to, my boyfriend's texting me, I better respond before he freaks out. Um, uh, yeah, and if you do have those defense mechanisms or triggers, then definitely like do some deep diving, look into that, figure out what's going on there. So let's get a, an angel message for you. Um, let's just get an angel message see what um, angels have to say to you. Ooh, the lovers. This is Archangel Raphael. Um, so if you don't have a choice, you could have a choice between two people because the lovers is about choice also. But the lovers in a love reading really means that this person loves you. So the person that you're thinking about, they actually do have feelings for you. They do care about you. Unless we're talking about that physical, strictly sexual connection, that is not included in this uh, diagnosis. Um, but this is a card that asks you to believe in the power of love. And that sounds really corny, but that's actually what the angels are asking you to focus on. So if you do want help in finding a soulmate, um, getting along with your soulmate, reconciling with your soulmate, please ask Archangel Raphael to help you. Archangel Raphael is not only the Archangel of travel and healing, but also soulmates. 
So you can ask um, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Shamuel to help you find your soulmate if you don't know who that person is or where they are, okay? Um, let's get an abundance message for you and see what's going on there. I just like to throw this in at the end, kind of see what's going on with your material wealth. No more complaining. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. So try to turn any complaints that you have into positive affirmations and um, move forward with, you know, saying positive affirmations instead of saying, wow, I really, you know, wish I made more money, you can say thank you angels for always supporting me and I always have everything that I need. And that's all you have to say really, thank you. Just say thank you, come from a place of gratitude um, because that is gonna help you get more abundance um, instead of being in the complaint and like negative type of space. And we all complain if it happens, you know, but if you do it, just try to catch yourself and reverse it and try to make it a positive um, statement of gratitude. So I hope this message resonated for you. Um, thank you so much for all of the great views in April. And you will definitely have another bonus reading coming in May, in addition to the regular reading, if Taurus has the most views again. So um, if this video resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm growing really nicely, and I couldn't be more pleased with how quickly um, my channel has grown, so thank you so much. And um, I'm going to be going live with um, personal love and relationship questions. Um, I'm hoping um, May 1st or May 2nd, not sure, but um, leave me a comment below and let me know if you'd be interested. I'll just be doing like quick, probably one card question reads um, just for free. And, uh, hit the notification bell if you want to not miss out on that live. I'm not really sure when it's going to be yet, but I'll try to post um, something about that probably on Instagram or Facebook. So um, if you like card of the day readings or um, pick a card readings, um, you can check out my Facebook. It's um, at I am Jennifer Love and my Instagram is jenniferlove.me. My website